So here we are. It's just us, no crew. So you had a paranormal experience here, and this is your grandmother's house? After she had already tucked me in, I felt the bed spread, like, pull, like, tighten. We just found out that Charlotte is the middle name of Caroline Bonaparte, and that is one of the names that came through upstairs. I mean, that's beyond coincidence. I mean, that's ridiculous. She asked what their name was. Hmm. She gave one of them. Hmm. again this is spooky there's no one around let's get the thermal imager work absolutely so right now we actually have this flare camera that's picking up heat signatures so it can actually see my hand huh look at that that's cool so anything we see in the cemetery um that's giving off that heat signature that's gonna be really awesome let's go scan it okay can you imagine me... seeing a gravestone and then you just see this <laughs> You are indoctrinated into the... <laughs> you are part of the Chronicles now. What if the Chronicles was named after every town of that we visit and do a haunting, like a, the investigation? Yeah, I like that, you know? Because it's still our Chronicles, but it's the Chronicles that we tell. Okay, so I'm rolling this. Okay, we're gonna, we have three cameras here. We got a little flip out that I'm going to give you in night vision. We're trying to So you're now part of our team. Okay. Definitely split up. Let's try to find the last name, Charlotte. It's cool to be part of our show now. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. All right, here we go, Charlotte. Charlotte, get out of here. See, I told you it was a white stone. It, it was. was. It was Wait, this is nuts. Oh, I'll take your light off it. Oh, my. There you go. In real time, let's get this. No. Benjamin. No way. This is a B. No, I'd like... <sighs> no, it is an R. You almost. <sighs> That's almost. what got me. I saw the B and I was like, ah! It's like 20 degrees out. I'm gonna take photos of every gravestone I can and so we can just flip to it and find it if we need to. We can have a, a log of who's here. We can have this log in case we're doing an EVP and their names come up in the future. We like, they're buried there. Let's take a look. So these stones are so old. Hey, Clarissa. I've never seen my name on a gravestone uh, before. Yeah, that's how you usually <laughs> see mm. It's spelled the same too. I didn't know Watch where you're stepping, because right in front of you, Evan, you're stepping on a grave. Ah, boo. Boo. Man, it's hard to read them. A lot of these stones are probably back to 1800s, and I mean, they're so old that some of the writings have deteriorated off of it. You can't even identify the names. Really? Oh yeah, this one actually has writing in it, and it's 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 hand etched. Joel. Joel Wilder. What year is that? 1893. Yeah. But that's oh. hand carved. And just think, in about 50 to 100 years, none of this is going to even be visible. Caroline Bonaparte's graves right over here to the left of us. Where? Right there. Oh, I mean the spooky one. Let's just go to her grave. See what's over there. What? That's her grave. Yeah. Okay. You didn't know that? No. You Wait. grew up in that house and didn't know she was right across the road. Well, I knew she was here. I just didn't know that it was that was her. Where is she? She's right there in front of you. Boom. She's standing right next to you. Here it is. This is where I couldn't see anything, remember? Oh, how crazy is that? That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, like I'm watching that on your video and that's insane. And it's even in real life. Like right now I can't see it. Now, boom, there it is. That's right. She died on Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Take your flashlight and aim it straight down. You'll see her name. Look at that, Caroline, right there at the bottom. Yep. Right, look at, how, look at how that shows up. Now watch this. I can't see it at all. At that. Night vision is a way to go. We were able to discover the names of these stones right here. I mean, we got the names. We can go back and look on the big screen and actually look up and find out how they're related to Caroline okay, Bonaparte. That's what it is. Z E N C C Benton died April 6, 1847. 1847. We'll have to go back. Whoa. 
We just had an orb literally shoot across the frame right now. Really? Right in front of the gravestone. Let's say 18 minutes, 45 seconds. We had an orb shoot straight across the screen. And I'm talking fast. Just across your little screen? Yeah, it went back here and then went back across. Sometimes orbs can be refractions from the lens of the camera. And I've had that before happen. Guys, yeah. I think I found the father. Benton, MD, 1845. Okay, this is Ebulon's father. Yeah, and so he died 1845. Wow, heck of a monument. Can I see your flashlight real quick? Yeah. Hey, look at this. Ooh. This is all inscripted. Get out of here. Photo AI here. Let's Ooh, see. dude, this is another mystery. Another mystery. It's all right down here. You can actually... Ooh, ooh, ooh. okay, wait, here it is. Roll and still well. That's all like torn down too. You never know. This could be something. I'm just hearing something moving over there and I'm just worried about the coyotes. Last time we were here, we couldn't see those names at all. Now we can with that technique you were doing with the night vision camera. I'd say we go back. I saw a shadow move behind her towards this tree. I'm sure you did. Okay, see so that, that look, right? That look, right? Uh, this look, that's a scary look. Like, put the light on it. Like, what? Yeah, that's... That's some Blair Witch shit, right? There. That's paranormal activity. Wait. <laughs> what? Okay. What, did you see someone in there? So, I mean, I can't wait to show you what I, I think I saw. What was that? Well, that's just a field. Look, let's look over here. Yeah, well, there's this one right here. Right. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Dude, right here. What? You were just pointing at it. Oh, there's other gravestones. Yeah. Just jumbled in there. You see them? Yeah, on the record. I oh, know. I mean, they're... What if one of the names that we got is one of these stones? This is like you'd be in there and like a hand would come underneath. <laughs> Let's just talk about this. It's a whole bunch of them. It looks like oh, the graveyard did not end here. It, it just kept going. Who knows what's back there? Sony camera's dead. Oh, that's weird. You're smiling. You love this. You ought to be. <laughs> I do too. If you could see right there, there's the battery. It's dead. It was just full like five minutes ago. Question. If the oldest are back here, and maybe we can kind of narrow in on years to find the name. What is this thing? If this is what brought us here, what is it? The name's weird. 1855. This is a really old one. Yeah, it makes me wonder how old the stones are that are back in there. I mean, older. Also died on Christmas. Christmas Day, 1855. Imagine the Christmas Day massacre. Something happened here. Oh my God. Really, we might not know at all ever this name because of what's going on over here. I'm ready to go, but I also realized we never closed our level of communication the spirits in the bedroom and we never said goodbye or closed our communication oh shit. so we can do that now yep uh because i'm guessing we probably have some hitchhikers alongside with us so to the spirits that are here with us in the cemetery right now that may have followed over from the bonaparte family um house across the road we are closing our level of communication with you tonight we ask that you don't follow any of us home uh, we appreciate you coming out and chatting with us and giving us the information that you've given us and it's time to end the communication. Amen. It's just food in here for a second. Are you just going in? You're going in. I am, I, but I don't know what. This is what he does. <laughs> um, you know what? This is like almost like hollow. It's like, oh, looks like a, a dirt mound. This whole berm right here, this big. No. Yeah, is all graves stacked up. They took something and pushed it all up. Look, look, boom. Look, all of these. And then there's this dirt mound that goes down. And that's just bodies and, ooh, ooh. Okay. Did you hear that? 
It sounded like something was coming through the other side. Oh, like coming from down there, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm out. Time to go. We don't want this rude voice. It was that same freaking moan that you heard the first night you were here next to that gravestone. That was that. Uh, it was that kid's. And that was right there. I mean, we're just. We have wolf coyote hybrids out here. Let me get some audio. Here it goes. What? They just. They just. What? They're getting closer. It's time to go. Oh. They're getting closer. Yeah, we definitely need to get going. I mean, there's like a pack of them. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we definitely need to get going. Hey, let's hustle. All right. It's over for the night. What do you imagine when you hear a large cryptid that roams the woods? Bigfoot, right? Well, what if I told you that there was another cryptid that was large and bipedal, just like Bigfoot? The Dogman. Take a werewolf, but take the shape-shifting ability out of the picture. But even without having the ability to shape-shift like a werewolf, let me tell you, this cryptid is not to be messed with. He has been reported to have one of the worst tempers, and is very guarded. So if you ever come across a dog man, well, we probably won't be hearing the story. I've been in the paranormal field for 23 years, and I've used multiple different audio pieces of equipment, but nothing has sounded so clear and smooth as Tascam. Tascam has sponsored the show with sending us some of the best audio gear in the world including the Porter Capture 6, which is one of the best EVP recorders I've ever used, if not the best. From night one, I caught some of the most clearest EVP recordings that I've ever captured. So thank you to Tascam, creating like a pro. We'd also like to give a special shout out and thank you to Historic Haunts of Waynesboro in Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. 30 minutes west of Gettysburg sits this beautiful historic town, and in the center, the Hooper House haunted bed and breakfast ran by Steve and Pam Berry. Whether you want to spend a night in a creepy but beautiful haunted bed and breakfast by yourself or bring your team in for an investigation, contact the Historic Haunts of Waynesboro. They also have a brick and mortar paranormal equipment store down in a gatehouse from the Revolutionary and Civil War. Steve and Pam are one of the best paranormal equipment dealers on the East Coast and we personally work with them. We'd also love to give a huge shout out and thank you to Jim over at Starforge Sabers for customizing two lightsabers and sponsoring the show with them. Now when you think about lightsabers, you don't usually think about, you know, paranormal investigations. But that's where Evan and I like to think outside the box. We do a thing called full spectrum photos. When you change the colored lighting, it actually can possibly show up entities. So that's where we're going to use these lightsabers. So thank you to Starforge Sabers 